What's up, guys? I'm Marissa Rachel. This is the show where I teach you guys how to make DIYs that are all things Halloween. Super easy, yet still end up being quite spectacular. You're watching Spooktacular. <laughs> so one of the best parts about Halloween, besides the costumes, is decor. So we're gonna be creating some Spooktacular room decor ideas. Let's do this. The first DIY is this flower skull arrangement. And it's super easy, it literally takes no time at all. Let's get started. You're going to need a foam skull, flowers, real or fake, a foam knife, and scissors. The first thing we're gonna do is cut off the top part of our skull. This is really creepy, actually. This is like kind of scary. It's actually much harder than it looks. And you might wanna get your parents to help you with this, cause it's a little bit tricky. So after we're done with that, it's super easy. All you have to do is get some fake leaves or you can use fake flowers and it's as easy as sticking them right in. You can cut the bottoms of them off if they're too long. So we're pretty much done here. And there is our little skull. He looks very adorable. What do you think I should name him, guys? Yeah, this was super easy though. It took no time. It was pretty much only two steps and it looks really good. So when I think of Halloween, I always think of things that glow. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make these really cool glowing eyes that you can use to scare yourself or your friends or your family. So you're going to need paper towels, glow sticks, duct tape, pencil, and an X-Acto knife. Take your paper towel tube and we're going to draw our spooky eyes on. It's times like these, I actually wish I had like a little brother or sister so that way I could scare them with this DIY. <laughs> so after you're done drawing your eyes on, you're gonna take your X-Acto knife and start tracing it out. And I would recommend getting a parent to help you because sometimes using an X-Acto knife can get a little tricky. Now that we're done with our eyes, we are going to duct tape one side of the paper towel tube so that your glow sticks don't fall out. Just a little disclaimer, the purpose of this DIY is to look cool at night, in the dark, not to look pretty during the day. Now that we've taped one side, we're going to crack them so they get all glowy. Ooh. It's literally like the most satisfying sound in the entire world. We're going to put our glow sticks in, but tape the other side so that they stay in. So these look so cool. Let's get ready for our next DIY. Like I said before, I'm obsessed with all things glow in the dark. So get ready for this DIY. It is a glow in the dark pillowcase. You're going to need a white pillow, a paint palette, black paint, glow in the dark paint, paint brushes, a black light flashlight, a pencil, and googly eyes. For my glow in the dark pillow, I'm going to be doing a spider because I'm a little bit terrified of spiders and I feel like Nothing says Halloween more than a spider. So first thing we're gonna do is draw on our spider. So the reason why I'm using pencil as opposed to anything else is because it's really easy to fix if you mess up. And I'm also gonna be covering it in black paint. Now that I'm done outlining my spider, I'm going to write a little message and I'm gonna write I'm here for the booze because get it, booze, booze, Halloween, ha. Huh? Now we are going to take our paint and our paint palette and start painting this. We have some googly eyes that are glow in the dark and we also have some special spooky glow-in-the-dark paint that we're gonna use for the letters to make them glow in the dark. The great thing about this DIY is that it only takes about 30 minutes to dry. Now that I've let my spider dry for 30 to 45 minutes, I'm going to lay out my googly eyes and hot glue them on. And be careful, cause hot glue gunning can be kind of dangerous.
So now the moment we've all been waiting for. Does it actually glow? Let me grab my black light flashlight and let's hit the lights. Oh my gosh, this is actually working and it looks really cool. So if this doesn't creep you guys out, then this will. See, I told you guys I would help you create the most spooktacular DIYs ever. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love Halloween as much as I do. And subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite DIY was and have a happy Halloween. Bye guys.